we're just headed down to the uh, water park here at the resort. It's our last day here. We have yet to check out the indoor water parks. We're going to head inside and check that out. This is a pretty cool indoor water park. It's called Wild Bear Falls. So we got a little kitty play area over here. We got another one over here with a bucket that dumps water on you. And they got a lazy river here. Runs the whole length of the building. And down here at the very far end, we've got two water slides. Then they also have a big pool, the basketball nets. Then they also have a hot tub right here. Seating area upstairs so you can eat. Have a bunch of seating on the sides. And then down there at the other end towards the locker rooms. Down over there they have some cabanas to rent. And that's the whole thing.
So I'm actually standing right behind our resort where we're staying here. And they actually have a zip line that starts right up there. Goes over this uh, ravine here. And end up over here. It's pretty cool. So zip lining is closed right now, but maybe the next time we come out here, I'll try my hand at some zip lining. I don't know. What do you think? I'm a little bit afraid of heights, though. I've never gone zip lining before, but so definitely considering trying it out. You can see the line right there behind me. Well, unfortunately, our vacation has come to an end. It's been a lot of fun. Spent two days and three nights here in the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge area and did a lot of pretty cool things. Really enjoyed the mountain coasters. Can't really pick a favorite mountain coaster. They were both really awesome. Um, the Alpine coaster is definitely a lot longer of a ride than Rowdy Bears was. I really hope you've enjoyed these series of vlogs of our trip to Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.